Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk through some designer shoe dupes. It has been so long since I filmed one of these and I will leave down in the description box below links to my past ones as I know a lot of those styles are still available as they're all pretty classic shoes. Now what really inspired this video and it's the first pair of shoes that I'm going to talk about are these embellished mules. Now, I actually first saw the designer pair of these shoes which are from Jimmy Choo back in December I think it was and I thought they were absolutely divine, really stunning, just such spectacular detail. I love the embellishment across the vamp, just thought it was really beautiful and I hadn't seen anything else like it. However, the price tag, something like 1800 Australian dollars which to me felt like a lot of money for a occasional shoe, especially for someone like me who doesn't tend to go out too often. So I wanted to find something that was more affordable and I stumbled across this particular pair from Kurt Geiger. They actually come in a few different other colors as well, including a black, I think there's a metallic and maybe a white as well. Uh, but I actually think I prefer these to the designer version. The designer pair is a patent leather and I find with a bunion on my left foot, patent shoes just don't really cut it for me. They are often really uncomfortable so I tend to go for leather or suede when it comes to shoes. Uh, and yeah, these are just, they're leather so that's perfect for me. I love the apricot tone nude as opposed to being more of a cooler, lighter nude. Um, and I just think they're very flattering on the foot. These are so elongating. And while at the moment the only place that I can really wear them is our living room, I am so excited to eventually be able to wear these somewhere special uh, once lockdown is over. So that is the first pair of shoes. Earlier this year I filmed a video that was all about items that I wanted to buy but didn't. And one thing I talked about was a pair of Mansa Gabrielle slingback heels. Now, I still wanted to buy a pair of slingback pumps, but I just realized that they weren't the ones, they weren't remarkable enough for me or special enough for me to want to spend over $500 on them. Then Everlane decided to release these shoes. Actually, it might be easier if I show them on the side. Here we go. These are the Editor Slingback heeled pump and they effectively do the exact same thing as the Mansa Gabrielle pumps. They just don't have a adjustable leather strap on the side. I like the fact that these actually have a squared off vamp as opposed to a pointed one. I just think it's really flattering uh, and they have that low block heel. I got these in a US 9.5 for reference and that's my usual Everlane shoe size. They are a little bit snug in the heel but they do have an elasticated panel which I know will stretch out based on my experience with their other shoes. But I just thought that these were a really good match for the Manso Gabrielle ones but a much friendlier price point while still being really high quality. The next pair is one that I actually have on my wish list. I'm talking about the designer dupe version, not the designer version. So Fendi came out with these really cool looking combat boots. And one thing I don't have in my wardrobe is a pair of flat boots and I really loved the look of them. They've got a knitted section that kind of goes up the calf and the Fendi version actually have the monogram on them which I think looks really neat. Uh, but obviously if you don't really like things that scream designer then it's going to be a little bit flashy. Tony Bianco do a really similar pair but I think they're nicer because they don't have that logo on them and they're just very classic so you could kind of wear them year after year and I really love that kind of combat boot effect. I think it looks very cool worn with skinny jeans or kind of tucked into a straight leg trouser or also worn maybe with a pretty dress to sort of juxtapose the uh, more masculine edgy vibe of the boots with something that's a little bit more feminine and pretty. Uh, but yeah, I just thought that they were a really fantastic option. Uh, they look like they're going to be really great quality and something that I am potentially considering adding to my autumn winter wardrobe. The next pair of shoes is definitely going to be a Marmite one and I actually personally really like them. They are the Chanel Dad Sandals. So these are the ones that have the Velcro straps across the foot and they kind of look like an orthopedic sandal. I personally kind of like that. I like that ugly shoe trend. Uh, and these ones are ones that I think if money was no issue, then I would probably go out and try and find a pair. But I did thought that Atmos in here, which is on the Iconic, had a leather version and they look really puffy and they are a really good dupe for the designer pair. I love the quilted effect of the leather on the dupe too and really for something that may only be a bit more of a trend piece, sometimes it's better to just kind of go for a more affordable alternative rather than investing in the real thing. You might be able to hear our boy in the background squealing away. He's having a 
fun time with this dad out in the living room. Um, the next pair of shoes I want to talk about, I think I've mentioned them in all of my designer jute videos, but it's because I keep finding alternatives, and it is the Chanel two-tone pumps. Now, I've said this before, but I think they are such a classic, timeless shoe, something that you can wear forever, and something that I feel resonates really strongly with my own personal style. So the ones that I have, which I've talked about, a million times and I think many of you have gone on to buy these are the slingback pumps from Vanelli and I really really love these I have two pairs and I just think they are fantastic really great quality I will say that they do squeak a little bit when you walk but I mean I do find a lot of leather shoes do that so it's not really something that bothers me now Vanelli actually have recently released a higher version so if you felt that this sort of mid low block heel wasn't really giving you enough height then the new version might be better for you and I will have a picture on screen I will leave them linked in the description box below but I thought that it was worth mentioning particularly if you don't really like a low block heel I also know that June London have a really fantastic version of the the two-tone pump as well and it comes in a white and black as well as sort of this uh, classic yellow beige and black the next pair of shoes I want to talk about are another sort of very fancy kind of going out sort of shoe or something that you would wear to really jazz up your outfit. It is the Amida Muadi embellished pumps, the slingback version. Now these shoes are really difficult to actually get your hands on. They seem to sort of fly off the virtual shelves every single time they're restocked. And I think they are stunning. They really are a real statement maker and very, very special. Now I spotted on the June website as well that they have a really fantastic dupe for these shoes. They have a few different options in terms of fabrics and textiles as well. They had a really pretty sort of natural uh, woven pair. They have a black I think it might be a satin pair or maybe it's a black leather pair, although I believe those ones are completely sold out in all sizes, but I would keep an eye on the website just in case they restock at any point. But I did think that they were a really good alternative to the designer pair if you're not really sure if it's something that would have a long-standing place in your wardrobe. Now onto something that's a little bit more practical for day to day. The Row is one of those brands that I always look to for really striking but classic designs, things that are often quite oversized and that are going to be able to be worn for years and years. I don't actually have anything from the Row in my wardrobe because it is so expensive, but I really do like looking to the brand just for style notes. And they have a really beautiful suede loafer. It's actually on sale at Matches at the moment, or at least should I say at the time that I'm filming this video, they are on sale and I spotted while I was browsing the seed website that they had a really similar alternative they basically look the same in terms of the silhouette the profile of them and everything they come in four different colors so I thought that they were a really nice pair to wear day to day particularly as many of us are spending the majority of our days working from home so it's kind of a nice work from home sort of a shoe that will make your outfit feel a little bit more special if you're a bit sick of wearing loungewear Another shoe that I feel I've mentioned quite a few times in these designer dupes videos are the Dior Slingback Flats. And I mean, I think they're quite iconic at this point. They're this particular style here with the ones I've got have got the Jadior ribbon around the heel, which I think is just a really pretty kind of effect. Now I spotted a very similar pair in a updated version. So Dior for the current season have released a style that has a netted textile and it comes in a black and a nude. And I saw that Jeffrey Campbell have got the flat version in both a black and a nude color and they're just really pretty and a nice way to elevate a pair of pointed toe flats. They also come in a heeled version uh, from a different brand called Bellini and I have this I have the suede pair of the uh, slingback pumps. You can see they've got that same bow detail. These ones I bought pre-loved from The Real Real. Um, I want to say maybe one and a half to two years ago. And they are a stunning shoe, but obviously quite expensive. And I thought the Bellini ones were a really nice alternative. They don't have that classic curved heel. I think this is called the comma heel uh, from Dior, but they do have a similar vibe to that netted shoe. And they also do a flat version as well if you wanted to look for an alternative. I thought they had a really good price point. I've got another pair of shoes here, which I have talked about before. This time I, I actually have invested in the designer version and it is the Saint Laurent New Kid Slides. Now I bought a pair from Jane Debster. I've talked about them before and I really love those and they're still a pair of shoes that I've continued to wear even since buying these. But I have spotted some alternatives to these which have a squared off toe, unlike my Jane Debster ones which have a rounded toe. So I did want to mention them. They're from Atmos in here and they have them in a kind of milky white, like 
my Saint Laurent slides but they also do them in black leather as well and they have a very similar design here on the front so I thought that they would be again another really good alternative. That being said if you are thinking about investing in these shoes I can 100% recommend them. Having spent years wearing my Jane Debster ones and then finally deciding to splurge on these, I am thrilled with them. I went up a full size, so I'm usually European 40 and I got them in a European 41. And I find that it's a really good fit for me because it gave me a bit of extra width across the foot. I've, as I said, I've got wide feet and I also have a bunion on my left foot and I find these pretty comfortable actually. And it gave me a bit of extra length along the shoe. So if my feet swell during a really hot summer's day, I don't have to worry about my heel hanging off the back of the shoe. So yeah, that's the, uh, the YSL slides. I feel like last season Bottega Veneta really had a moment and I still think it's the brand that people are looking to to buy shoes from and the most iconic pair of shoes that the new uh, creative director Daniel Lee launched were the uh, mules with the squared off toe and I've seen a number of brands that put out dupes for these shoes I mean it's a pretty classic silhouette just with a few modern details and some of the ones I saw were June and they do the kind of woven style with the interlaced leather and that's in both a heeled and a flat version so I think the flats are really nice if you just want a simple summer slide. I also spotted some I believe on the Topshop website. I'm going to double check but I will link those down below. I saw that Jeffrey Campbell have a really good pair and also and other stories have done a pair as well which kind of has that exaggerated heel. Um, the other pair of shoes that Bottega do, which I think have been really popular, are the ones that are really strappy and they have that thong detail in between your big toe and your other four toes. And Jeffrey Campbell have a very similar alternative, much more affordable alternative, which will be easier to get your hands on as well. So again, I will leave those linked down in the description box below. And then the final pair of shoes that I wanted to talk about is a pair of mules. And these ones are from Manolo Blahnik and they are the Buckle Mules. I am obsessed with these shoes. I think they are divine. They are beautiful. Sam Edelman have a very similar pair. They come in, I think, sort of like a floral print, which is very interesting and unusual. They also have a snake print. I think there's a black suede and there's a couple of other colors as well. So just another really good affordable version. So that is my latest roundup of designer shoe dupes. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I actually found so many other designer shoe dupes as well. So maybe I can do a corresponding blog post and link that down in the description box below, which you can go and refer to for other shoe ideas. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time with a brand new one. See you soon. Bye.